Hello everyone, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Keisha and today we are just gonna start a weekend vlog. So it is Saturday and I just have an itch to go shopping today. I don't go shopping very often. If I do, it's online and it's not usually for clothes. And I really feel like I want to go look for some new clothes. I might go by the bookstore. We shall see. There are a couple of new releases out that I may be looking for. And yeah, I don't know. I don't really know what I'm going to get up to, but I just thought I would take you all along with me today. This is not probably going to be the longest video. I don't plan to film a lot in public because sometimes you just need to go out and enjoy being present in whatever you're doing. So my plans for today are to go shopping and kind of tell y'all what my weekends look like. Now, typically, like I said, my weekends don't look like me going shopping, but everything else this weekend will probably look pretty similar. Also, since Jovi's wanting attention over here, this little one has had an upset tummy this week. So she's not been feeling well. She's on some meds and today she's, I think, doing better. So that's good. We're going to continue those meds and hopefully she will be good as new by the end of the week. But I am going to take a book with me today. So I, I thought I would show y'all what book I'm currently reading. So my book sleeve is from the Bessie Book Sleeve. Just in case you're wondering, check her out because she has really cute book sleeves and bookmarks and all the things. I'm reading a cross country wedding by Courtney Walsh, which should come as no surprise to anyone because Courtney Walsh is like my sole author. I love her so much. She writes my perfect book basically every single time, which I feel like it's terrifying to say that because one time it may not be perfect, but I'm really enjoying this one. This is the follow-up to A Cross Country Christmas, which was the first book that I ever read by her. And I've had this one for a while. I don't know why it's taken me so long to get to it, but I'm only about 22 pages in and I'm enjoying it so far. I am highlighting a little bit in it, but I don't know if I'm going to tab, but I do have my highlighter in here as well. So I'm going to take this along with me today and just kind of see if I feel like stopping and reading anywhere and getting a coffee. Also, I have this cutie little bookmark from Floors on Sunday. This was like a little freebie in a pack of some other ones that I got. And I just think this one is so cute. It says bookish girly and it's just adorable. I love her bookmarks. They're such good quality. So definitely check her out. She also does ones with tassels, which those are my favorite. If I have a bookmark, I typically prefer it with a tassel, just FYI. But I'm going to take this along with me today. And if I don't read it out, I'll read it when I get home. And then otherwise we're gonna have a cozy weekend. I think I have a coloring book that's new that I want to color in um, and we'll just kind of see what I get up to. But I'm gonna take you guys along with me. So let's go ahead and get started. I thought I could update y'all on what my book is about since I didn't even really tell y'all. I just said it was the sequel to A Cross Country Christmas, which it's not, I don't know if I'd call it a sequel. It's more like a companion novel, I guess. But the first book was following a couple that it's, it was like a brother's best friend romance. And in this book, that couple is getting married and you are following the main girl from book one, her best friend, Maddie, in this book. And so Maddie's romance is gonna be Friends to Lovers, which I have really loved in the past, but I haven't loved in a really long time. So I'm hoping that this will be a good one for me and that I will enjoy it because it's Courtney Walsh and I feel like she just writes a good romance every single time. But anyways, this one follows Maddie and Maddie is this sweet, bubbly, sunshine girl, but she has like really hard trouble. Like she doesn't pick the best guys to date. And every time that she experiences a breakup or anything wrong in her life, she runs to her friend Simon, who Simon is also friends with, I think his name is Simon. Is his name Simon? Or am I just, I think it's Simon. <laughs> but he's also, that both of them are friends with Lauren, who is again, the girl from the first book that's getting married. They're both going to her wedding. And so Maddie's previous boyfriend, who now is, you know, they've broken up, that was gonna be her date to Lauren's wedding. And now she is like run to Simon and she's like once again, just so distraught because of this breakup. And Simon, on the other hand, you get both perspectives. Simon has, I don't know if I would say loved Maddie, probably, but you know, he's had a thing for Maddie for forever, but she kind of friend zoned him. And so he just cares so much for her and would, you know, give her the world and do whatever for her. And it's so sweet. She ends up asking him to be like her date for the wedding, which is a cross country wedding, which doesn't mean that they are taking 
necessarily a cross-country trip to get to the wedding, but they are taking a cross-country trip and each stop there's going to be different vows that are said on each stop, which I think is a really cool concept. So I love that. And so that is like what they're about to embark on. That's as far as I've gotten in the book. And I'm assuming they're probably going to fall in love along the way. And Maddie is going to realize who she has and has had in Simon all along. So I'm very excited for this one. mess express over here so I've already gotten a lot of my stuff out I was like showing my hubby what I got but I wanted to do a little bit of a haul for you guys you saw mostly what I got today but just to confirm I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick haul so my books are beside me <laughs> you guys this book does not come out until Tuesday it is Saturday I snagged it am I gonna read it right now no because the audiobook for it that I pre-ordered from audible does not get to me until Tuesday but I went ahead and got this. She is stunning. Like, look at those end pages. I'm not going to show you the end page on the back because potential spoiler if you haven't read the other books. Um, it says, it's said that the wisteria vine is a symbol of immortality. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. It is just like such a stunning book. And this is the final book, I believe, in the trilogy for Belladonna. I am obsessed with this series and I'm so glad that so many more people are getting on the hype train for the series because it is so stinking good. So this is one of my, if not my most highly anticipated release of the year. So I'm hoping that this is going to be a five star for me. The first book was four stars or really probably like 4.5, but I gave it a four at the time. Fox Glove was five stars and I'm really hoping this one is going to be five as well and I have heard already from people reading this 
like early copies of this that people are crying and I'm like, I am not prepared. Next up, I got Beneath These Cursed Stars by Lexi Ryan. This is the newest release by Lexi Ryan. She wrote the duology, which is on the back here, these hollow vowels and these twisted bonds. I read these last year, I believe it was. And they both are YA fantasy novels. They are clean and I really, I think they're clean. I'm pretty sure they're clean. So I really enjoyed them when I read them. I gave them both four stars. And this is a spinoff series following the main character from the first two books, Sister, and then somebody else from the other book. So I hope this is good. I'm hearing mixed things, but we shall see. Okay, let me do, I guess I can show you what I got at TJ Maxx first. So I think y'all saw these little tops that I got. So I got this little top. It's got a really cute little bell sleeve. And this is gonna be like a really cute work top. It's got a little tie at the bottom and I really like this one. It is like a burnt orangey color. And then I got this black top that is also gonna be a really good work top. It's got little ruffled sleeves. So I don't know if you can see those, but they're really cute. Also has a tie at the front. So this is a really cute one. And then I got, okay, so my husband hates me for buying these pants. These are the pants that are in style and maybe they don't look the best on me, but I think they looked good enough and cute enough on me that I got them. I don't know if you'll be able to see the wash of these, but the wash of these pants is so stinking cute. I'm obsessed with it. So these are wide leg jeans, okay? So like real wide. And I don't know if y'all know this about me, but I'm gonna try to do this without the foot being in there. And excuse me, I have not shaved my legs, so don't look at that. But I have like literal chicken legs. Like my wrist size is about my ankle size. So <laughs> things just kind of look weird on me sometimes, but I am obsessed with these pants. Like obsessed with these pants. And they go great with the new sneakers that I got today. So these style sneakers have been like, well, I guess I need to show you the other TJ Maxx things. Let me show you. This is the only other top I got from TJ Maxx which was also a clip you saw. I just think this looks like sunshine to me. I love it. It looks like sunshine. That's my only excuse. I'm gonna wear like a little white tank under it. But these sneakers, I don't know if this specific brand is in style. I'm not like keeping up with the, the Gen Z years too much, but obviously like I feel very much like I'm getting old and I don't like that feeling. So I'm trying to just like look as much like what's trending today as I can to try to like make myself feel, feel younger. So I got these and I love them. They are, what is this brand? Vintage Havana, I think, but I'm obsessed. They're really cute. So I got these shoes from Shoe Carnival and I also got a pair of jeans on sale for $13.99 from Old Navy. They're just these like extra high rise, super skinny jeans. And they have a little rip in the knee right here. They are so cute. So I got those as well. And I think, yeah, well I also got, hold on. I've already kind of taken them apart. I got these socks because apparently millennials wear, you know, like short socks, but, and I don't know that I got the right socks. You can correct me if I'm wrong, if you're like a Gen Z, but <laughs> apparently millennials wear short socks and Gen, Z wears taller socks. So I got tall socks. <laughs> I said I got the sneakers. So I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just trying over here, but that is my haul. I just ate the best sandwich ever. I showed y'all a clip that was like my late lunch, early dinner. So it was a turkey brie sandwich. So it was a turkey sandwich. They, um, I went to this deli where it's a local deli for me and they roast their own like meat and stuff there. And it was so good. They had roasted turkey on the sandwich with brie cheese, as well as this cranberry jam that was super good and honey mustard. I know that sounds so weird, but sometimes the weird combos actually taste the best together. So, oh my gosh, it was so good. And they had homemade pickles. They were so good. And then also I got some chips to eat with that. So I've just had the best day. Now, did I get any reading done yet? No, I also have not had my God time today. And I was actually gonna film today, but I am filming this, but I was gonna film a delight episode, which hopefully by now you would have seen that. I may have to film it tomorrow morning, Sunday morning, um, in order to get it out tomorrow afternoon. But, cause I just don't think I have the right lighting to do it at this point, unless maybe, I don't know, maybe the sun will change a little later. I don't know if it will or not, but yeah, we'll see about that. But I did wanna film that today. 
Um, but I am going to read some and do my Bible study. Like I said, I may color some also, but I don't know how much I'm going to do today. I've kind of had a full day already just in the few hours that I was gone. So I will update you all as I go. And this is where my week took a turn for the worse. At 3 a.m. Sunday morning, we had to rush Jovi to the emergency vet because she had passed a lot of blood in her stool. Well, actually, there was no stool this time, but um, she's been struggling. We found out she had pancreatitis. So Sunday, I basically just rotted all day. <laughs> I did nothing but lay around and decided to color ultimately. So this is the coloring book, and I'll show y'all a little bit of a flip through of that as well as what I colored. But as far as Jovi goes, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who has been praying for her. Hopefully she will be getting better soon. She's on lots of different medicine and on some more sensitive food for her stomach. So we're hoping that this will help her heal. We're keeping a close eye on her, but she's my baby. So I'll basically do anything for her. And obviously this has really been hurting our hearts. But in the meantime, I did do some cozy things to lift my mood. Here are a few of the coloring pages that I did, which were basically just the intro pages and then the first page of this coloring book. But I highly recommend checking out Cozy Y.O.'s coloring books on Amazon if you haven't already. They are so fun. And then I didn't read very much on Sunday, but I did end up reading a chapter in Hind's Feet on High Places, which I'm reading for Krista's Christian read-along that she does quarterly. And this, that's Krista from Krista at Books and Jams, in case you were wondering. This book is so good. It's definitely going to be a five star for me. It is a Christian allegory you should definitely check out. I was at the wrong place at the right time. Because suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes. We were conversing under the night sky. When you took my hand, said, Let's leave now. be shy Wednesday. You have not heard from me in a hot minute. This vlog completely got derailed by Jovi and then life and busyness. And today, I, I don't know like if I had a touch of something. I just don't. I haven't felt well. My stomach has been upset. Maybe I took what Jovi had. I mean, she didn't have something I could catch. I'm exaggerating, but I just feel like maybe anxiety from everything over the past couple of weeks has made my stomach upset. And then I also had a female visitor this month. And so it's just all those things. <laughs> and so today it's just not really been much of anything except me sleeping. But I thought I would get on here and update a little bit since I haven't really done anything. Some clips that I included. Um, what have I been doing? Basically a whole lot of nothing. If you hear a train in the background, I apologize. I live very near train tracks, but we're, we're just here for the ambiance. It's fine. Anyways, let's see what, what is new. I've been coloring a little bit in my coloring book. I am obsessed with Coco Wyo's coloring books. So if you haven't checked out any, you definitely need to. It's very addictive. And if anybody's wondering what markers I use, I use the Ohuhu markers. I guess that's how you pronounce that. But they are absolutely phenomenal. They are alcohol-based markers. You have a brush tip and then you have a fine tip and I just use the brush tip. But I will say if you're not used to alcohol-based markers, you probably should like know that they, they bleed through and also they bleed like through the lines. Like if you're not careful, if you color too close to the line, it'll come out. But what you do is I just use, this came with my markers. Um, you just put that on the back page so it won't bleed through. But it does, like I said, you know, you have your page and it will bleed through like this. But as long as you put this between your pages, you should be good to go. And what happens when you forget to put that between your pages is this right here where you can see my pizza sign from here. 
So just FYI, but I absolutely love those. I have been reading A Cross Country Wedding by Courtney Walsh. So I will update on this. I don't remember at the beginning of the vlog if I said I was reading anything else, but I am 11 chapters into Death on the Nile by Agatha Christie, which is not going great if I'm being honest. I really enjoyed And Then There Were Nine and Murder on the Oregon Express by this author, but I am not really jiving with Death on the Nile. So that's kind of a bummer, but I am still planning to maybe read it. And if not, I'll just stay in F and watch the movie. I'm still reading Hind's Feet on High Places by Hannah Hernard, which again, I still highly recommend. And then now I'm gonna give an update on A Cross Country Wedding. So this book is following, and I'm not gonna go back into this too deeply again, cause I already explained it, but this book is following Maddie and Simon and they are going on a cross country trip for their best friend Lauren's wedding. And they're going on different stops along the way that are some of the same stops that Lauren and Will went on in the first book. They're kind of revisiting where they fell in love as they like go through um, their wedding, like they're doing different vows at different places. And Maddie and Simon are following them along for the trip and they are gonna fall in love. This is a friends to lovers romance. And honestly, the thing about this, that when I first started this, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I was really annoyed because you have a female main character who is very aloof. She is very unaware that her guy best friend of 10 years has been in love with her for 10 years, which kind of seems unbelievable to me. Then you have the guy, Simon, who is, he's such a good guy. Like it's one of those situations where he's such a good guy, but he's almost too good and too soft. And it's like, dude, can you like toughen up a little bit? He's been waiting on this girl for 10 years. Like, I just, I don't know. So it didn't start off great for me and I didn't really resonate with the characters initially. But as always with Courtney Walsh, she just writes my perfect book every sing single time. And perfect doesn't mean there's nothing wrong with it. And perfect doesn't mean I'm gonna give this five stars. I might, but I might also give it four. I have given one of her other books four stars. It was Mary Xmas. I do kind of attribute to reading that during July, like Christmas in July versus Christmas, but I don't think I was in the mood. But anyways, this one, I think it's just been like getting used to these characters, but she does do a good job of like, giving you some backstory of their history, like their, how they came to know each other and about a little bit more about their relationship. And she does do a good job of character development and banter. And so it's just hard to not like one of her stories. Will this be a new favorite? No, I can already tell you that, but I just love reading her writing. It's so good. So I've probably got a little over 200 pages left. Yeah, because I'm on page 117 and there's like 370 pages, something like that. So I'm going to continue reading this and update you all as I go. I do want to give another update on Jovi. She seems to be on the mend. The medicine seems to be working. She has vomited a couple of times, but it's like very minimal. And I think it's just like an adjustment type thing. But her stool has been back to normal. Um, I don't remember if I mentioned in this vlog or not, but she was just passing a lot of blood. So she is on three different medications right now and I think that they are working. So um, everything seems to be getting back to normal. She is seeming to be back to her normal self. So hopefully we will continue on this upward trajectory and we won't have any more issues. The only thing I'm trying to figure out is if I need to switch her dog food. She's been on the same dog food her whole life and it's never been like recalled or anything. And it's always been really good. But now I'm wondering if she's gonna have stomach issues in the future because she has had some before. And I do think that is our fault as dog parents for feeding her table scraps too often and not just being more mindful of stuff like that because we want to spoil our baby. So I think it's partially that. And so I just want to do better in the last few years of her life. She is nine years old. So we're hoping, you know, maybe she'll live till she's 15 or so because um, a lot of times small dogs and dachshunds will. So if we can just keep her healthy for the rest of her life, maybe we'll be good. But thank you all for the prayers for her and all the messages. And it's just really appreciated because we're the kind of people that our dog is our baby. So Jovi is definitely our baby. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get back into some reading and just rest for today. Um, I still haven't eaten very much because like I said, my tummy has just been super upset. So I'm gonna try to eat some more and just relax because I do have to go back to work tomorrow. So, but anyways, I just needed to do an update. We went to a small bar with neon lights. Talked about everything that was on our mind. Talking to you gave me butterflies. And you took my hand, said, let's leave now Don't wanna be shy
I just finished this book and I was gonna try to like capture my thoughts but it's so late and I was so tired and I was like I'm probably not gonna have or I say capture my thoughts capture my reaction I was like I'm probably not gonna like have one but then I got teary-eyed so I do have like this little picture this is the best I can do I did have tears um and I don't know what to rate this y'all I don't know because okay this whole time I'm like I'm just gonna give it a four because it's not like my favorite Courtney Walsh book given this is my sixth um and I have given another one of hers four stars Mary Xmas was four stars but the rest have been five stars so Mary Xmas was four stars my phony valentine my lucky charm a cross country christmas and the summer of yes have all been five stars um and this one i thought i was going to give four but like i don't know I, now i'm like do i go back and read mary xmas this christmas and then bump it up to a five maybe like maybe i'll like it more than i think i just don't know because like i'm like i should give this a four because in the grand scheme of all of them it's not a five but like i feel like all of her books deserve a five I just love this story. I just think this was good. It's not in the same ballpark. So like a cross country Christmas and a cross country wedding. This is an awful angle. Um, these books in this series are not, I do not like this angle. I had to like put my phone on the charger. Sorry y'all. Um, they're not in the same ballpark as the Holidays with Heart series for me, but they're still really, really good. They, these are just, oh, Courtney Walsh is just, I, I honestly wonder, she puts a lot of things in her characters that I really resonate with, that I like see myself in with a lot of her different characters. Um, I ended up seeing a lot of myself in Maddie. I saw a lot of myself in Eloise and um, My Lucky Charm. I have seen a lot of myself in little bits and pieces and her other books and Kelsey and Georgina from the summer of yes and I wonder if Courtney is if that's part of Courtney if she's putting some of herself in these books because if so like girl we need to be besties like <laughs> because I just feel like that's why I love her book so much she just writes me you know like she writes me and so many of these people and she writes like my hopes and my dreams and my fears and my anxieties and my faith and my like hopes for love and my my hopes for love like I'm not married but you know what I mean like she writes like a love story that I love and I don't know it's just so good so I just wanted to end this vlog by letting you all know that I did finish this and I'm not gonna settle on a rating right now because it's between a four and a five so you'll just have to check Goodreads or Instagram for my rating later on but I hope you all enjoyed spending this week with me even though the week kind of got derailed um, and I didn't feel super well for half of it, but I feel like I still was able to like provide some content here. Um, I colored a lot this week. I read a lot this week and I rested a lot this week because that is honestly what I needed. So, um, I don't know if Jovi, come here. Jovi's still here. So I will just give y'all one final little update on her. Come here, baby. Jovi, she's right here. She's like, I'm so ready to go nine night, mama. I'm so ready to go nine night. Jovi, look. Hi, honey. So, she's doing so much better. Um, I think that's it. I don't remember if there's anything else I needed to update on. I did sprints tonight with um, Jordan and Yvette and Hannah, and that was so much fun. And <sighs> worked from home today, again, because I did not feel great. But this evening, I feel better. And... My stomach's kind of just been on and off like today not great but i'm hoping tomorrow will be on the up and up so thank you all so much for watching this vlog if you made it this far in the video and you enjoyed watching and just want to leave a comment for support go ahead and leave a flower emoji down below because wisteria just came out and that's going to be my next book and i actually thought i was going to include that in this vlog but i'm starting it tomorrow because i just had to finish courtney's book first so go ahead and leave a flower emoji down below specifically wisteria if you can find the purple wisteria emoji that would be great but otherwise thank you all so much for watching i appreciate you so much and i will see you in my next video bye friends